Oh my God. This is the, oof. This is a maybe 2008 to 2010 MacBook Pro here in the shop for a white screen. And it's absolutely disgusting. Uh, there is like, ew, possible no OS booting. Uh, it's not booting into an OS at all. Glad I gloved up. Let's, uh... Okay, now it's clean. So let's plug in the charger and see the error we're receiving. So it's just constantly booting. He also mentions he tried to fix this before me. Don't know how good that went. These back screws are way too tight. Those front screws are way too loose. Samsung SSD, I doubt that's an issue. Have some OEM MacBook RAM here. Throw it in, see if it boots. Okay. Not booting, so which is giving me SSD possibly faulty. I'm convinced it's either a hard drive issue or possible a DVD drive issue. It doesn't boot into this. I'm going to go quickly unplug that cable. Okay, bootable drive is completely created. It Let's see now if we can get this to boot. I don't know if it'll go into boot menu. I really don't know. Ah, there we go. There we go, bro. We're booting. I don't think it'll show on to the capture card, so I'm not going to do that. And there we go. This utility. So we have this, which is the Samsung drive, which is completely fucking corrupted. As you can tell, everything's yellow and saying zero kilobytes. Unable to write last block of device. This is looking like a faulty drive. So I'm kind of concluding to the cable. <sighs> I mean, I could order it and if it doesn't work, I can return it. That, that, that's the main conclusion. This is definitely a first I've never had to deal with. The new SATA cable came in today. Here's the old one. We're gonna have to use that as reference. Came with an ugly screwdriver, guitar pick, another ugly screwdriver, a spudger, and the actual SATA cable. Before we peel and stick any type of double-sided tape, I wanna see if the thing even works. Get the SSD, and let's see if this works. I hope it does, dude. By the time you guys seen this, the PS4 video would have already been up. It's linked right here. Oh my God, yes! The SATA cable? Dude! Oh my God, I'm so happy. Let's restart, let's see if it boots back into Mac OS. Yep, booted right up. Now that we know the SSD is working, everything is fine, I took the liberty of removing the SSD and we're gonna go glue on all the parts that need to get glued on. Now that that's fully screwed in, align it correctly. Just put it down flat. That's official. And that is all. Everybody, start stroking your- So battery. So there's the battery. And the SSD came in. Thank you. Put these in. That's the SSD fully on. Battery. I'm not going to go with the crucial drive. I was going to transfer it, but it's just, it'll take too long. So we're not going to do it that way. <laughs> Incredible. And that's that. And now let's see if it boots into recovery. Okay, we're here. So here's our drive. We're gonna erase it and make it OSX extended journaled GUID erase. We need to change this 02185325 on Macintosh SSD. And now we literally have to wait until it's installed. Just like that, it's all installed. And as you guys can see my screen here, we're gonna go to about this Mac, and there we go. We got our two gigabytes of RAM, along with 256 gigabyte SSD. Okay guys, I wanna thank you all for watching and actually seeing what I've been dealing with. For a little bit of context, if you guys have watched all the way to the end of the video, I have been working on this computer for four days, five days, and uh, the crucial SSD that you guys see, I used that SSD for test installation on uh, El Capi 10 using an external it did install so that, that pointed me to the direction of the SATA cable. I did see there was a bit of track rod onto it and that's the main reason why I did change in the first place. A little bit more context, this is an A1278. So this is like a mid 2009 to 2010 MacBook Pro. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys have a comment, leave it down below. I read every single one of my comments. So thank you guys for watching again and take it easy.